you make my life feel brand new. Jesus, you love me too much, oh, too much, oh, too much, oh, Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. Good evening, and welcome to another edition of Power of Power. You know, Father, we are very thankful this evening that you have afforded us this privilege that we could come and pray together as a family. We're so thankful. We're thankful to be alive. This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad. We're so glad. Thank you, Jesus. Father, this evening we exalt your precious name because you alone are worthy to be praised. We thank you, Lord, because without you in our lives, we would have been undone. We are miserable. So we're very thankful that you chose us. You selected us from where we were in the miry clay and you set our feet up on a rock to stay. And this evening we give you praise. This evening before, before I pray, I want to sing a chorus that the Lord woke me up with this morning that reminds me of his goodness and of his graciousness towards us. For in spite of what we're going through, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Amen, somebody. Weeping may endure for a night, joy comes in the morning. Weeping may endure for a night, joy comes in the morning. Hallelujah for the joy. Hallelujah for the joy. Hallelujah for the joy. Joy comes in the morning. Weeping may endure for a night, Joy comes in the morning, weeping me in there for a night. Joy comes in the morning. Hallelujah for the joy. Hallelujah for the joy. Hallelujah for the joy. Joy comes in the morning. And if you believe it, give the Lord some praise. Because joy is coming in the morning. It is promised us and Father we are so thankful. In Jesus' name. You know the book of Samuel says, The Lord is our rock and our fortress. He's our deliverer. He's our rock and in him we trust. And this evening as we pray, we want to hold fast to this word. That he is our rock, he's our fortress, and he is our deliverer in this season. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your word. For your word is truth. Thy word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. And Father God, we hold fast to this word that says that you are our rock, you are our fortress, and you are our deliverer. So we thank you, Father God, that you will deliver your people in this season. Lord, we hold fast to this word, and we believe beyond the shadow of a doubt that whatever darkness is coming our way, whatever plans the enemy may have in this season, Lord God, you are going to shield us because you are our fortress. You're going to cover us, Lord Father, because you are our rock, and we are going to stand fast and see the salvation of the lord almighty god we exalt your precious name because you are worthy to be praised lord david says in my distress i called upon you lord god he said that he cried unto you and father this evening we lift our hands and we call on you we cry out unto you today in jesus name because we cannot do it alone we need your strength we need your peace show up lord in our homes show up in our businesses show up lord god in this country that we live in father because we're depending on you and as we cry father god the bible says that the earth shook and Lord God, today as we cry, there shall be a shaking. Lord, prophetically, I speak it over our land. I speak it globally, that there shall be a shaking. Things are going to begin to shift and fall into place for your people. Lord God, those that are unemployed, there will be a shaking. There's going to be a shifting. Strangers are going to build their walls in the name of Jesus. Father, we depend on you as we cry unto you today, Lord. Show up for us, Father. We need you, Jesus. We need you, Lord. Lord, we thank you that you are still our source. So we rebuke the spirit of doubt and fear 
I want to overpower your people. Lord, in this season when men are getting laid off, companies are sending people home very quickly. But Father God, today, Lord, I thank you for new ideas. I thank you for vision for your people. That Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you will make a way where there seems to be no way for your people. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you deserve all the praise. You deserve all the honor. You deserve all the glory because there is no God like you. There is no God like you. You know, this song comes to mind. All the other gods are the works of man, but you are the most high God. There is none like you. Hallelujah. Help me sing that this evening. All the other gods, they are the works of man, but you are the most high God. There is none like you. All the other gods, they are the works of man, but you are the most high God. There is none like you, Jehovah. You are the most high. You are the most high God, Jehovah. You are the most high, you are the most high God. And we believe that this evening, we believe that you are the most high God. We believe that you sit high, you sit on the throne. We believe that you are the exalted one. And we give you praise today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, your word says in the book of Samuel, that Lord God, you make, you make our hands strong, that we can break a bow of steel. Father Lord, you promise that we will run through troops and leap over walls. So in this season, Lord, we thank you that Father, we will continue to leap. Our borders will be extended in Jesus' name. We will run through troops and leap over walls. COVID wouldn't have the final say. Lord God, we thank you for victory. We thank you for victory this evening. In the name of Jesus, Lord, and we go for it with our praise on our lips because we are well certain that God is able. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we give you Amen. praise. We give you thanks, O oh God. Father, we worship you this evening, O oh God. Father, we honor you. We magnify your name, O oh God. Father, we declare this evening, O oh God, great are you. You are a great God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, O oh God. Father, we thank you for who you are. We thank you, O oh God, that you are an awesome God. We thank you, O oh Lord God, that, Father, you are never tired of hearing us, that we can come boldly before your throne of grace. And, Father God, this evening, O oh God, I come before you, Lord Jesus, lifting all of us, O oh God, all of us, your people, O oh God. Father, we lift them before, I lift them before you, Lord. Father God, you said in your word, O oh God, Father God, that men, oh God, we are always to pray, oh God. Father God, and we, we are calling upon your name, oh God. This evening, oh God, we are asking in the name of Jesus that you pour out your Holy Spirit, oh God. That you pour out your Spirit upon your people, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we come, oh God, and we, we humble ourselves before you. Father God, we come, oh God, this evening, and we submit to you, oh God. Father God, we come, O oh God, this evening and ask in the name of Jesus that you empty us, O oh God. Empty us of everything that is not of you, O oh Lord God. Father God, and fill us. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, O oh God. Fill us with your anointing, O oh God. The anointing, O oh God, that destroys yokes. The anointing, O oh God, that destroys fear. The anointing that destroys confusion. The anointing that dis destroys anxiety, O oh God. Father, fill us. Fill us with your Holy Spirit. Fill us to overflowing, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we fixed our eyes on you this evening. We fixed our gaze on you. We focused on you this evening, O oh God. Father God, we set our faces like flint, O oh God. As we seek you, Lord God, as we seek you, as never before. Father God, you said if we seek you, O oh God, that we would find you. O oh God, and we seek you this evening, O oh God. As we ask you to pour out on us. Pour out on us, O oh God. Father, pour provision, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, you know where we are, O oh God. You know what we stand in need of. 
Father God, on your hands, oh God, have already provided. And we thank you for provision today, oh God. Father, we thank you, oh God, that you lack, that you would not hold and withhold any good thing from us. In the name of Jesus. So, Father, we thank you, oh God. We thank you, oh God, and even, oh God, as, as we are locked in at this time, oh God. Father God, and we, we continue to seek you as never before. Father God, in the, the, the day, the, the, the night the children of Israel were leaving Egypt, oh God, Father God, we were, they were shut in. You told them, oh God, to, to wait until the death angel passed over. You told them to apply the blood. Father Noah and his family and animals were locked in a, 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 the, the ark as it floated on the water, Lord, 40 days and 40 nights. Father God, you provided. You kept them, oh Lord God. So, Father God, as we are locked in, oh God, as, as we, oh God, we seek you more, oh God. Father God, we seek to have an experience with you. Father God, we seek, oh God, to know you as never before. And as Pastor often says, oh God, Father, if we have an experience, we can never be at a disadvantage with a man, with an opinion. Father God, we want to have that experience with you. We want to know you as never before, oh God. Father, if we want to rely on you, we want to know, oh God, that, that oh God, when we, when we are filled with you, oh God, that our lives will never be the same. And Father, as we lift our hands this evening, as we lift our hands, oh God, and we form it, oh God, in the, in the shape of a cup, Lord, we lift it before you. Father, we ask you, oh God, to pour out. Pour out, O oh God, in Psalms 23, you said you will prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemy. So, Father God, we lift our cup before you this evening and we ask you to pour out, O oh God. Pour out so that it will overflow. It will overflow into our sources, O oh God, and we will be drinking from our sources. Father God, fill us as only you can. Fill us, O oh God, with your Holy Spirit. Fill us, O oh God, that we will never lack we will never lack oh god for any good thing we will never lack for your presence for your love for your peace oh god father we thank you that you are an awesome god we thank you that you are a loving father and you are always oh god always watching over us because your promises are here and amen and you promise that you will never leave us and you will never forsake us so father god as you are pour out your holy spirit Father, we thank you. We thank you, God, for that deeper, richer relationship with you, for that experience, oh God, with you that will change our lives. Father, we give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor in Jesus' name. Hey, good night, everybody. I'm coming to you from the Kogia Open Bible Church, and my name is John Thomas. I'm here this evening to pray for you, young adults and youths and unemployment. So... Mm -hmm. You know, let's just pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we praise you. We worship your name. You are good and worthy to be praised. Your name is power. Your name is life. Your name is strength. You do awesome things. You do glorious things. We praise you. We adore you. There is no God like you. No God like Jehovah. All other gods are made with the hands of men. But you are the true God this evening. And that's the God we praise. That's the God we lift up today, O oh God. And so we come to you with an assurance, that understanding that you are God. And that you are able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we could ever ask or think. And as I join, O oh God, this evening with my brothers and sisters of the Koki Open Bible, the region, the country and around the world we lift up young people today oh God, who do not have jobs but Father God, this evening God, nothing is so difficult for you, all things are possible God, because we believe you are the same according to Hebrews today oh God, you never change oh God, oh God, so Father we worship you, we worship you today oh God in the name of Jesus Father God, we lift up young men and young women who do not have jobs right now, Father first of all, we lift them up oh God, because we need you oh God God, to touch their minds, oh God. Father God, don't let them become frustrated and distracted, oh God. Father, Father God, he said, Thou will keep them in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. So, Father, keep their minds on you, oh God. Keep their minds on you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray, God, you'll give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, oh God. Oh God, as to where to apply, oh God. To prepare their resumes, oh God. To prepare themselves, oh God. Father, even 
when they will get interviews, oh God. You take charge, oh God. Put the words in their mouth, oh God. What to say, oh God. Father God, Lord God, as you take them before kings and important places, oh God, that they will be able to, oh God, speak, oh God. Lord God, as the three Hebrew boys, they were, oh God, and they were able to speak, oh God, and to declare Jesus as Lord and as Daniel, who had an excellent spirit in him this morning, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, you take control. Take control in the name of Jesus. Father God, we pray for them, oh God, that Lord God, you direct them to the right persons. Father God, where those who would have sent application and have not heard, those who would have applied, oh God, and sent in so many applications and nothing happened. Oh God, those applications may be on death today, oh God. Oh God, underneath piles, we pray God, it will come to the forefront in the name of Jesus. And Father God, even though we know, oh God, we see in the time that we are living in oh god right now the pandemic oh god but you are the god of the famine we have oh god what happened to the israelites oh god as our example that god you are able oh god to keep us alive in the famine oh god because you kept the israelites oh god when they were in egypt they prospered even more under the pressure so god you will prosper them oh god you will open doors and they will get jobs oh god in the name of jesus and be able to testify of the goodness of god in their lives today in the name of Jesus. Father, we praise you. We glorify you. Father, and even when the Israelites came out, oh God of Egypt, and they were in the wilderness, the scripture said they kept them alive. Their clothes did not even wax, nor the shoes on their feet. So God, we know you are a keeping God. You are a God that can do all miracles, God. That's the God that you are this evening. And Father God, we pray for them, God, and even God, as they wait, oh God, can help them, God, not to wait idly, oh God, but to wait in your word, oh God, to study to show themselves approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, that their desire will be to, oh God, to run after you, to delight in the Lord, oh God, and to oh, spend your time, oh God, studying the word, and getting to know you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we come against distracting spirits, oh God, and think to take them away from their purpose, oh God, and getting to know you, even in this time as we are, oh God, we cannot come out as we would like to, but oh God, I pray God that you will be with them, oh God, they will use this time to come closer to you, oh God, to hear you more, to hear your voice and understand when you are calling out to them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, cover them in the blood of Jesus. Cover their minds, oh God. Oh God, right now, Father God, there we know that when we are home, so many things come to distract us. But we pray, God, you will keep them. Keep them, oh God, from the snare of the fowl and the noise and pestilence today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, you said in your word, in Second Samuel chapter 22, verse 7 and 8, that the cry went up to you, God, and you heard. And the other verse said, Oh God, that you were shook because you were angry. Father, we understand that when you feel what we feel, oh God. And so, God, we know, God, when you feel what your young person feel today. So we know, God, that this prayer, oh God, went up into your head. And that, oh God, you are going to answer. You're going to shake the heavens and the earth, oh God, and open doors, oh God, for your people to get jobs. So, Father, we thank you today, oh God, and we bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. This evening, oh God. Father God, we magnify your name, name above all name, the name of Jesus, oh God. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess, God, that you are God, Yahweh, hallelujah, Yahweh, mighty God mighty king god i exalt your name above every name oh god father god i say this evening that every high thing must come down and every stronghold shall be broken as we surrender to you oh mighty god as we heed your calling oh god to surrender oh god to you to your will and to your way oh god father god everything that we have been doing wrong lord god father every sin oh god father god every wrong attitude oh god father everything that is not of you oh god father Father God, we bring it to naught in the name of Jesus. We surrender it, O oh God. We ask your forgiveness, O oh God. We ask your forgiveness. 
Forgive us, O oh God, for all the sin that we, we would have done, Lord God, in your sight and in your presence, O oh God. Father God, we ask you to wash us, O oh God, with your blood. We ask you, O oh God, to forgive us. We ask you to cleanse us, O oh God. We ask you, O oh God, to have mercy upon us, O oh God. Father God, you see and you know, God, hallelujah. And you are calling out, O oh God, to your people, O oh God, to surrender to you. Mighty God, help us, O oh God. Where we are weak, Lord God. The areas that we are weak in, oh God. And that we are failing in, Lord God, Father God. Father God, we come before you, oh God, in repentance, oh God. With a pure heart, oh God, Father. With a broken heart, Lord God, we come before you. We stand in the gap and we cry out, oh God, for your mercy upon us, oh God, mighty God. Mighty King, your grace upon us, O oh God. Father God, wash us with your blood. Wash me with your blood, O oh God. Cleanse me with your blood, with your word, with his up, O oh God, that I will present my body a living sacrifice, O oh God. Holy and acceptable, O oh God. You want a living sacrifice, Lord, a pure sacrifice, Lord God. Father God, I give that sacrifice to you this evening as I lay my body, O oh God, on the altar, O oh God. And I say, O oh God, the God that answer by fire, O oh God, let your fire burn up every impurity, mighty God, in mind, in soul, in body, in spirit, mighty God, hallelujah, that this sacrifice would be a living sacrifice, that this sacrifice would be a holy sacrifice, Lord God, Father God, the holiness that you have called us to, O oh God. Mighty God, the place that you have called us to be in, oh God, hallelujah. The life that you have called us to live, Lord God. Father, help us, Lord God. We ask that your Holy Spirit help us, oh God. That your anointing help us, oh God, hallelujah. Mighty God, I surrender to you. I surrender to you, Lord God, to hear your voice, oh God. To hear your voice, O oh God. To present my body before you, O oh God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Mighty God. Let your word be a light and a lamp, O oh God, unto our part, Lord God. Shake off every chain and every shackle, O oh God. And every spirit of self, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, O oh God. Everything that is not of you, every single thing, Lord God. Let there be a breaking, O oh God. Let there be a shaking, O oh God. Let there be a moving, O oh God, in the spirit realm, Lord, mighty God. Mighty King, mighty God. Glory to God. Have your way, O oh God. Have your way, Lord God. Have your way, mighty God. Father God, I bring your leaders, O oh God, before you, O oh God. Father God, every leader, every ministry, Lord God, mighty God. I pray, O oh God, that you would strengthen us, Lord God. I ask that your Holy Spirit, O oh God, minister to us, to speak to us, O oh God, mighty God. That we would not lead with self, O oh God. That we would lead in your spirit, mighty God. To the power of your Holy Spirit, God. Every chain that is holding us down. Every shackle that is holding us down, God. We say break in the name of Jesus. Break, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Set your leaders free, oh God. Set your leaders free, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Father God, create a clear path. Remove every obstacle, oh God. Remove every wall. You are the God that move mountains. You are the God that break down walls and barriers, oh God. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. Set your people free, Lord God. Hallelujah, mighty God. Mighty King, Lord. We call upon you, oh God. Because you are the one, you are the chain breaker, oh God. You are the mountain mover, oh God. You are the deliverer, oh God. Hallelujah. Mighty God, you are our leader, Lord God. 
our eyes upon you. We take our eyes off of you. Oh God, help us to bring back our eyes upon you that we will not sink, oh God, in your presence, oh God. We will not sink in your presence, oh God. Hallelujah, oh God. Cause us, oh God, to bring back our eyes upon you. We need to look upon you, oh God. Hallelujah. We need to keep our eyes upon you. Mighty God, for we are taking our eyes off of you, Lord God. And we are sinking, Lord God. But, oh God, stretch out your hand of mercy. Stretch out your hand of grace, oh God. Father God, I ask you, oh God, to anoint your leaders, oh God. Anoint your leaders, oh God. Let your anointing, O oh God, rest upon every leader, O oh God. Every leader, O oh God, hallelujah. Every ministry, O oh God, hallelujah. We ask, O oh God, for the filling of your Holy Spirit, O oh God. That self will decrease and you will increase, God. It's not about us, God. It's all about you, Almighty God. Mighty King, O oh God, we pray, O oh God, for a tremendous move of your Holy Spirit, O oh God, hallelujah. O oh, glory to God, that we will live according to your word, O oh God. We will hear your voice, O oh God. We need to hear from you, O oh God. We need a word from you, God. Hallelujah. Let self decrease. We do not want to hear from our own self, Lord. But we want to hear from you, O oh God. We want a word from you, God. We want you in our midst, the Lord thy God, in the midst of thee. Father God, we put you back, O oh God, upon the throne of our life, upon the throne of our ministry, O oh mighty God. And we take down self. Father God, we strip self, O oh God, from upon the throne, Lord God. O oh, glory to God. And we say, you mighty God. You, O oh God, be upon the throne and speak, Lord God. Hallelujah. Have your way, Lord God. Minister, Lord God. Father God, fill us up, Lord God. We declare it's not by might. It's not by power, O oh God. But by your spirit, Lord God. Fill us, O oh God. Father, we wait on you. We wait on you, Lord God. In this period of waiting, Lord God. We wait upon you, O oh God. We ask that your Holy Spirit will come in our life as a mighty rushing wind, O oh God. As in the day of the Pentecost, as in the day of the upper room. We go back, O oh God, for upper room experience in our life, O oh God. As we are to go forth and lead your people and minister to your people. You, O oh God, from in the beginning said to wait, wait in the upper room, oh God, till we in be endure with power, oh God, from on high, Lord God. And Father God, we go back to that place. We go back to the place of waiting, of, oh God, for you. Waiting for you, Lord God. Father God, I wait. Cause men and women to wait upon you, oh God. To be filled with your Holy Spirit, O oh God. To be under your anointing, O oh God. The anointing that break yokes, O oh God. O oh God, your word said that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he have anointed me. O oh, glory to God. Let your leaders be anointed, O oh God. Let your leaders be anointed. Let, us, let your leaders be filled, O oh God. Let your leaders, oh God, be surrounded, oh God. Let every ministry, oh God, function under the spirit, oh God. Oh God, and let there be breakthrough. And let there be evidence of your presence, oh God. So, Father God, hallelujah. I stand before you. And I ask you, oh God, to change 
that change will come, Lord God. That your Holy Spirit will come. That your power, O oh God, will be amongst us, O oh God. And every ministry, every church, of oh God, every open Bible church, every full gospel church, Lord God, we will seek you. We'll break down the barriers. We'll break down the walls, O oh God. And everything that is not of you, you will remove it, Lord God. And we will see the power of the Holy Ghost. We will see the power of the God we serve. Hallelujah. As we continue to wait upon you, Lord God. So, Father God, we wait. We wait for your filling. We wait for your Holy Spirit. We wait for your power. We wait for your presence. Oh, glory to God. If your presence is not with us, we are not going forward. We are not going on. So, Father God, we ask for your presence. We ask for your Holy Spirit. We ask for your anointing. We ask for breakthrough. We ask for revival. Oh, glory. We ask for miracle. We ask for signs. We ask for wonders. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Miracles. Oh, glory to God. And we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. We ask God that you move mountains. We ask in our hour of power for power for that hour, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And we give you thanks. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace, oh God. We thank you for your spirit. We thank you for your anointing. And we thank you for every miracle. And we thank you for this hour of power in no other name but in Jesus' name. And we will continue with hour of power in your presence. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Pray for amen. all the children and people that's away but before I do this I would like to sing a little chorus giving them the assurance that God is able to take care of them be not dismayed whatever be tired God will take care of you Beneath his wings of love abide, God will take care of you. God will take care of you through every day, all the way. He will take care of you. God will take care of you. This morning, God is able to take care of you. This evening, he's take, going to take care of you. In the middle of the night, he's going to take care of you. In your workplace, he's going to take care of you. On the streets, he will take care of you. Do not be afraid because God is a very present help in the time of trouble. He said, therefore, shall we not fear? Though the earth be removed and the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, God is in the midst of us. And today we want to give all those children that studying abroad and even living abroad from Trinidad and Tobago that's in the heat of the battle some of them still have to go to work but god you are their protector you are their healer you are their guide you are their everything this morning for you said you will give your angels charge over them to keep them this morning this evening and tonight Lord, we ask you, dear God, to continue to overshadow them. Overshadow them with your love this morning. Bring peace to them. Where there is fear, remove it, O oh God, this morning. 
where is uncertainty? Where there is uncertainty? Those are the front of the battle in the medical field, in the workplace, wherever they may be working, where it's open. We know you are able to take care of them. Father, those who have the symptoms of the virus, you are bigger than COVID-19. Whatever the symptoms are, we know God is able to take care. They say when it's attacking mostly the older people, but God I've seen is attacking the younger people also. These things know no race, no color, no creed, no age. And I pray for the protection of the blood of Jesus upon each and every one of them over there. Even those that are surrounding them. We apply the blood of Jesus upon their lives. And we claim victory for them in Jesus' name. By your stripes they are healed. You said even though we are surrounded. We are surrounded by you. For you said the angels of the Lord encamped round about them that fear him and help them. And so with confidence this morning, we pray and we ask you, dear God, to take charge, take control. Bless them all this morning, wherever they might be, on the roadway, in their cars, in their homes. Lord Jesus, the blood cover them, protect them and guide them. Lead them in the still watch of the night. Give them the assurance that you are ever with them, whether so ever they go. So, Father, this, this evening, I just commit each and every one of their lives in your hands. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen and amen. The blood continue to cover them. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Father, we give you praise. We thank you, God, because there is none like you. There is none that could compare to you. You, oh God, are the Alpha and the Omega. Who could compare to you? Father, we come before you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, asking you, oh God, to give us the, the, the divine strategies that we need to come against this present darkness. Help us, God, to get into position, oh God, so that we can fight the good fight of faith, that we can stand on your word, that we can stand with our power, with the power and the authority of the Holy Ghost. Father, you said it that no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. And you said that every tongue that rises up against us in judgment, we have the power and the authority to condemn it. Well, we condemn it now in the name of Jesus. Every strategy of the enemy, we condemn it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh God, we give you praise tonight, God. Help us, oh God, to stand on your word. Help us, oh God, that our light will shine in this present darkness. Father, help us, oh God, so that we could win the loss at all costs. Oh God, that is your, your divine plan for the church, that we would win souls, that our lives will, 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 will shine among men, that will draw men to you. Help us, God, help us not to be distracted. Help us not to be derailed, oh God, but help us to remain focused, knowing that though the enemy comes against us, he will not triumph over us. Harando Rebo Sata, Father, we thank you. We thank you. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. You are the God that fights for us. You are pushing back the darkness, oh God. Yes, Lord. And we believe your word that you are able to do it, God. Now help us, oh God, to be soldiers, to be warriors, to fight the fight of faith, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh God, we give you praise tonight. We give you honor tonight, oh God. In the name of Jesus, show us strategies in your word, oh God. How we could come against this present danger. This present darkness that is coming against us, God. And that we would not run away in fear. But we would stand in faith knowing that you are able to do it, oh God. And that you have placed in us, oh God, the power and the authority to, to push back darkness and to, and, and to cancel the assignment of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, help us, oh God, so the obstacles will be moved and that the walls will fall by the power of your Holy Ghost. 
in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we know that you are the God that answered by fire. We cry out for you today to answer by fire, oh God, because there's no one else we can call on. There's no one else we could rely on. There's no one else, oh God, that we could depend on but you, oh God. Show up, oh God. Show up, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we need your presence. We need your anointing. Help us, oh God, so we could remain focused. Help us, oh God, so that we will stand on your word. Help us, oh Lord, so that we will minister to others. Help us, oh Lord, so that we will show love and that we will show compassion that the fruits of the Spirit will emanate from us, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, you are able to do this thing. And I ask you in the name of Jesus, oh God, to do it for us today, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you for doing it, God. In Jesus' name, amen Amen. and amen. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. We declare that there is none like you. We say, be exalted, O God, above the heavens and let your glory fill the earth. Father, we thank you that your name is a strong tower, that we can run to it, that we can be safe, Lord. Father, we thank you even today that your word says that you are Jehovah Jireh. Father, we bring our friends and our family who are in many countries across the world, Father God. We pray even today that you would be their provider, Lord. Father, you know each and every situation. You know each and every circumstance. Lord, we thank you even now that you're providing for uh their everyday needs, Father God. Father God, we pray even now that you continue to bless them, that you would bless them with more than they need so that they can be a blessing to those around them, God. Father, we pray for those who may have lost their jobs, Father God. We pray for your provision even now. Father, we pray that you would provide that there would be no lack within their home and within their uh, community, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we pray even today that even during this time where we are separated from our church family, God. Father, we pray that you continue to stretch out our borders, God. Father, you continue to give us more areas and more people to influence for your kingdom. Father, we say, let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth, God. Father, we pray even today for your presence. Father, we ask that even during this time that we would feel your presence even greater than before. Father God, we pray even now that wherever they are, Father God, that your Holy Spirit would be with them. Father, we ask that you would pour out your Spirit upon them even more. Lord, Father, we ask for a spirit of wisdom and understanding during this time. We ask for counsel and knowledge. Father God, we ask that you would pour out your Spirit, the fear of the Lord and of might, God. Father, we pray even for their homes, for their children. Father God, we pray for their communities, for their churches, for their cities, and for their states. Father God, that your presence will be rich and your presence will be real, Father God. Lord, we ask above all else, Lord, for uh, just your protection to be upon them as they go out, as they're in their homes, as they interact with other people, God. Father God, we pray that you would protect them. Father God, we take up the armor of God and we put it on even today so that we can stand against all the attacks of the enemy. Lord, we ask that your blood will cover us that your blood will continue to protect us. Father God, we thank you that your word says that even when the enemy comes in like a flood, that your spirit will lift up a standard against them, and we lay claim to that. Father, we thank you for your word. Father, we thank you for the privilege that we have to come before you, to cry out to you, and to know that you hear us and you answer us. And so we rest in that knowledge, God, knowing that you are faithful. You are a faithful God, and you are a mighty God. There is nothing beyond your reach for you are sovereign. And so we give you praise. We give you honor and we give you glory and we thank you for what you're going to do we thank you for strengthening us during this time and for leading us forward during this time in jesus name we pray amen heavenly father we thank you for the fact that you have revealed yourself to us we thank you for the fact that over this last week lord you started by encouraging us lord to focus on being an original copy of you Then, Lord, the word that came forth during the week again was, Lord, that irrespective of what has happened through history, 
There's so much that will have happened over the, 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 the annals of time, through the annals and in annals of time. And Father, but you, your message came forth. Uh, your message of love, your message of hope, uh, your message, Lord Jesus, of reconnection with you came through the annals of time, through Jesus Christ, our oh Lord. Father, Lord Jesus, then we got a challenge, Lord, to be wise, to be wise. Oh, Father, Lord Jesus, there was an encouragement, hallelujah, to let the oil of your spirit, Lord Jesus, make us wise, Lord Jesus, so that we can in turn glorify your name. Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you. Oh, Lord, that you, Lord Jesus, have done it again and again, Lord Jesus. You have over and over made ways in the wilderness and made rivers in deserts for your people. And so even as we have prayed tonight, Father, by the power of your Holy Spirit, Father, we decree that everyone under the sound of our voice, Lord, that they receive victory in every area. In every area, as they walk by faith and not by sight. Lord, let them through faith begin to see new things. Let them, as they put their trust in you, begin to experience new things. Uh, Father, Lord, bring these experiences that would glorify your name from the realm of the invisible and non-existent uh, and bring it to pass by faith. Faith. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that we can spend this time in this hour of power, Lord Jesus, of prayer with you. And even now, as we come to a close, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you have promised to do and what you've already done in eternity and what's going to soon manifest itself. And Father, we glorify your name in Jesus' precious name. Amen. And amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you. Welcome you to join us in continued prayer and intercession for the body of Christ, for the work of Christ, and for everyone who desires to have a relationship with Christ. God bless you. This is the Koki Open Bible Prayer Praise Chapel, our power. God bless you. We love you. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me.